if you've ever watched Fox News, it's easy to think that all conservative media has a very specific energy. You might need an AR-15 with 30 rounds to, depend, to defend your family if 50 Antifa thugs show up at your house with your small children. Border Patrol officials calling it a dire situation as waves of illegal immigrants flood across the southern border. Most swimmers taking a dip on the shores of Cape Cod are treading lightly. If they even dare go in. It's going to be another shocky summer. That's the governor of Massachusetts. But while Fox continues its lifelong quest to scare your grandparents into hoarding Franklin Mint coins, one growing conservative outlet is using colorful graphics and social media to appeal to a new generation. But don't worry, their videos are very normal. Murder. <laughs> is murder wrong? Is it evil? How do you know? Liberals, the research tells us, are generally more outgoing, more likely to try new stuff. They're open to new ideas, though not school choice or flat taxes or a market-based healthcare reform. I want fairness generally means, look at me, I'm a nice person. The left is destroying the Boy Scouts. The power of the visual to excite men has no analog in women. Oh, honey, no, that's not women, that's just you. <laughs> You're not familiar. The clips you just saw are made by a conservative media outlet called PragerU, which itself is short for Prager University, as in their own website saying, Prager University is not an accredited academic institution, <laughs> but it is a place where you are free to learn. That literally describes every place. The last place I learned something for free was in a bra store, and what I learned is that I have been wrong for 35 years. <laughs> PragerU is actually a massively successful part of a growing hub of the online right-wing media machine. They have been funded by GOP mega donors, and their videos are specifically aimed at middle school and high school children. Even worse, those videos get billions of views. Meanwhile, my makeup tutorial videos are still stuck in the single digits. <laughs> and all of those views are from me and one guy who keeps asking me to put makeup on my feet. Okay, <laughs> like and subscribe. PragerU gets those views the same way a lot of YouTube channels do, by producing short, fun videos that are mostly hosted by the worst people. What's up, guys? This is Will Witt with PragerU, and today we're back with story time with Will. Are you an activist? Yes, four-year-olds. Also, what is this supposed to be about? Transgender rights, the baby's not choosing their own gender. It, the indoctrination does not just start in college, it does not just start in high school, it starts when kids are four to eight years old. That's bad, but the worst part is that he thinks this baby board book is for eight-year-olds. <laughs> I guess for Will Witt, Goosebumps is his infinite jest. Just keep plugging away, buddy, you'll finish it one day. <laughs> PragerU was founded in 2009 by Dennis Prager, a radio host turned digital mogul and man who definitely eats hard-boiled eggs on an airplane. <laughs> Waitress, can I get another milk on the rocks? As part of his ongoing conservative campaign, Prager is a prolific writer with multiple books, essays, and one special piece called When a Woman Isn't in the Mood, Part One. <laughs> part One? Part Two is just homeboy's headshot. <laughs> Prager's belief system extends beyond traditional Judeo-Christian values. He also has a ton of weird other beliefs. I promise you, one day you will say, first they came after conservatives, and I said nothing. And then they came after me, and there was no one left to speak up for me. To the left, the primary purpose of art, sculpture, and music is to shock. That's why so much contemporary art is meaningless and involves the scatological meaning urine and feces. Yes, urine and feces. How dare you? We also do plenty of jokes about boners. <laughs> now, while you'd think his extreme views would make Dennis Prager unpopular with West Coast elites, he's actually worked in Hollywood, producing movies such as For Goodness Sake, For Goodness Sake 2, and For Goodness Sake 3, Fifty Shades Free. <laughs> Dennis Prager even recently made his own documentary with comedian and knockoff Joe Rogan, Adam Carolla, called, and this is the actual poster, No Safe Spaces. I guess it's either about the First Amendment or crashing your bus out of a college. Anyway, 90% of their budget went to that poster. Prager U itself continues Dennis's love of right-wing celebrities using conservative experts and stars to add a veneer of respectability to the site, legitimizing much of their shitty and factually untrue commentary. I mean, just look at some of the experts they've got. I'm Pete Hegseth. I'm Greg Gutfeld. I'm Tucker Carlson. I'm Mike Rowe. I'm Jakob Smirnov for Prager University. 
because there's nothing the kids love more than Yakov Smirnov. <laughs> With these so-called experts and Yakov Smirnov, PragerU makes itself look completely neutral, as if they're just presenting the facts. With this strategy, the site's videos can present some truly batshit ideas. If sex doesn't mean anything, why would any woman feel violated by an uninvited touch? So when Planned Parenthood says it's devoted to women's reproductive rights, what it means is it's devoted to aborting as many babies as possible. If God were depicted as female, young men would deem traits such as compassion, mercy, and care for the downtrodden as feminine and would not identify with them. Come on! The important thing isn't whether God is a woman or a man. The important thing is that God is hot. <laughs> Finally, for once in my life, I want to feel the Lord in me. <laughs> Thank you. That was classy. Yet as bonkers as Dennis Prager and his fake-ass university may be, they are convincing a whole generation that your wife should have sex with you even if you look like someone who started serial killing after retirement. <laughs> Prager U is actually dangerous. They're reaching a new, younger audience with bullshit conservative propaganda. They trick kids into thinking their videos are educational, even though Prager U is as much of a real college as Monsters University. <laughs> if your aim is just to scare people, at least one of them offers you an actual diploma. <laughs> <laughs>